Have you ever wondered how to get audio from point A to point B and maybe running the XLR is just way too long or too dangerous? Well, I have a solution for you in this video. All right, party people, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell for all the latest in videos and content for my channel. We cover everything DJ, from weddings to equipment, so a lot of good content for you. For today's demonstration, we're gonna be using the Kamika CVM WM300A. This is a combination two transmitter, one receiver wireless lavalier set that can be powered by the internal battery or by USB. So what we're going to need for this is a standard headphone to XLR mail. The headphone will get plugged into the receiver and the XLR mail in will plug into your speaker. Now you'll also need a standard headphone to XLR female. This will act as an input for your transmitter, which in turn will output the audio wirelessly coming out of your DJ setup to the speaker where you, the receiver will be plugged in. So something to note, some systems use a quarter inch input and output, so you may need this cable in either a stereo or mono configuration to accomplish the same setup. If your speakers are in the front and they are set 12 feet apart, then you can just run a cable from the output of the speaker receiving the signal to the other speaker, and then boom, you've got both your speakers receiving audio coming from that one wireless unit. Now a couple other things you might want to take into consideration. The wireless units are typically prone to dropouts, so take into consideration your environment and the potential for interference cutting through your frequency. Also, your lavalier runs off of batteries, so make sure you have enough battery power or you're plugged into a power supply so you have enough power to cover the length of your show. Thankfully, this lavalier has an internal battery that runs nine hours during heavy use, so it hasn't failed me yet. Something else to make note, make note your lavalier is set to line level input to receive your audio signal properly. Also make sure that high and low pass filters are turned off on your audio transmitter and or receiver. And for a more stable connection, it's a good idea to have a nice line of sight between your receiver and transmitter. So this will help minimize any potential dropouts that you may have. And another pro tip, always make sure to rescan your units right before use so you always have the cleanest available channels for sending and receiving units. You can always, you know, set your unit up and test and everything works fine. But once you're getting people and the vendors start turning on their gear, a lot of interference picks up during those times. So sometimes you get new unwanted interference that wasn't there the first time you tested. So it's always good to rescan for your channels. And thankfully this unit has a RF receiver transmitter on both units. So once you scan your transmitter pack to a good signal, you can always send it to the receiver pack by the push of a couple buttons to save you on some channel service. Before we get to testing, I wanna know what you guys use for your wireless units. Do you use Alto Stealth? Do you use Sennheiser? And what are the applications you're using it at? So, down in the comments, let me know what you guys are using and how you're using. I'm curious to see what everybody else is doing. To test our setup, we're gonna use my audio rack to aid in this demonstration. So we're gonna take the audio output of my rack and send it to the speaker. So on the output, we set up our lavalier and then on the speaker, we have the receiver receiving the audio. So now let's test this out and see how it sounds. Check, check, one, two, one, two, one, two. Check, check, one, two. Check, check, one, two. Check, check, one, two. Check, check, one, two, three, four. So there it is, fairly simple. That is how I get audio wirelessly from point A to point B. And this works for ceremonies, receptions, or running satellite speakers to different locations. And it's really quick and easy. I'll also have in another video, some other options to help you guys out as well. So thank you guys for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that notification bell for all those latest content on my channel, and we'll see you in the next video.